Hello everyone, I'm Vahid uh, with another episode regarding uh, edge flange and sheet metal bending. In previous uh, tutorial, I'll talk about uh, how to create the base flange in uh, SolidWorks, which is going to be uh, the initial step in sheet metal bending uh, design via uh, SolidWorks. Please, if you haven't watched, go back and have a look at it because it's really important to know how to create the base flange without a base flange you cannot create other features on that so um in this today i'm just going to talk about the edge flange like the previous um tutorial i'm going to give you a brief introduction regarding the foundation and since you need to have in mind before designing some consideration which is really good this is going to be a brief. Uh, if you need to know more, it's up to you. You can go and dig it by yourself. Uh, without any further ado, let's start this uh, tutorial uh, today and uh, go and see what we can learn today. Let's go. So the first slide, uh, I would like to talk about the minimum sheet metal lens. Um, when you create the edge flange, you need to consider the minimum lens for that edge, because if you didn't, if you haven't considered that, you will come up with a um, you know crack or I don't know any kind of fracture, which is not good. Um, so in this case, the minimum sheet metal flange bend lens recommended to be three times of sheet thickness plus bend radius. Consider that if your sheet metal thickness is one millimeter. Um, and the band radius is one, uh, the, the minimum length is going to be three times uh, one, multiple one, and plus one millimeter, which is going to be four millimeters, the minimum length of the sheet uh, thickness. This is going to be uh, the minimum sheet metal uh, length. And other things I would like you to know is going to be the, the position of the whole slot uh, from the bend edge which is really important because this minimum uh, distance avoid the metal distortion, deformation, and fracture. Uh, the recommended minimum distance between a hole edge to bend uh, in sheet metal part is three times of the sheet metal thickness plus bend radius like the previous one. And on the left and right side, you will see uh, the, the the, the red one, it uh, uh, represents that that's another good position of the hole uh, in adjacent to the edge flange. But on the right side, you will see that, uh, which highlighted in green. You will see that the, the hole is positioned far away from the edge flange and it avoids any fraction uh, or deformation. Deformation is going to be the most important effect you will see on this. Uh, so in this case, be careful when you design the hole or have a cutout near the edge flange to put enough distance between these two. So another thing is the bend relief. When and why do bend corners need bend relief? Um, some bend requires relief and ignoring it can have a negative consequence for your part. Uh, for example, when a material is bent, some of the material is a stretch and some of the material is compressed. The material that gets compressed doesn't get uh, smaller. It actually has to go somewhere. The somewhere is typically out of sight of the bend. Uh, in some part, a little bit of extra material squeeze out doesn't cause any problems. Like the picture I put here on the, um, on the left side, you will see. This is not a big deal. You can, um, it can be used, but in some cases, uh, if the part has a bend located beside the flat and there is no room for a squish, a press break can be pretty convincing. So that squish is going to somewhere. Uh, if you haven't provided an enough place for it to go, it, it will find its own space. And that can cause unwanted warping or tearing in the part, and you will left with a shape that you are not um, in your desire, uh, in the original desired shape. So if you need your bend to stop in the middle of the part uh, rather than extend it all the way across the width, the bend relief separated that material and it allows the bend to happen on one side, while the other side stay flat. For example. 
we have the here is, for example, here we have a with a relief and without a relief. Here we don't need the relief, relief uh, but consider it here, which when we don't have a, a, a relief, we have a triering, which is not good. So in order to prevent this, we need to have a relief, especially when the edge flange is not going to be all the way of the edge. This is another thing you need to consider. And bend relief in a flange, you will see the, um, the right one and uh, on the left, and the opposite side is which going to be um, wrong design. And you may ask me how much is the, you know, the dimension of this bend relief, how to figure it out. So roughly they said that relief width is equal to the material thickness divided by two, uh, and the depth is going to be uh, material thickness plus the bend radius plus 0.5 millimeter, which is related to the depth of that. Um, there are different types of the relief, um, and we will see in the SOLIDWORKS. So let's go to the SOLIDWORKS and see how it works. Here is the base flange we created from the previous episodes, and now I want to uh, uh, we want to learn how to create the edge flange. So here is the, we are in the sheet metal module. So among all um, um, icon we have here, we have a page flange icon, press it, and the property manager it pops up. At the beginning, it asks you about the edge you want to create the edge flange. So I just want to create the edge flange on this side. I will just click this and Bring it and stretch it to the um, you know to the height you would like, and then click it. And on the screen you will see the preview. Here we have a use default radius, which I defined it in the uh, beginning of the um, uh, design. But if you don't want to have the uh, similar bend radius, you can change it just by uncheck this. And um, for example, I just want to have one, but in some cases consider that I just want to put two millimeters. Uh, another thing is the angle. You know, you can change the angle of the edge flange. Consider that I want to angle on this side, or I don't want to uh, this side. So, another features which edge flange give to us is the edge flange lens. We have three different options. The first one is the blind. You can uh, change the lens. By this, you can see the changes on the screen. Or I want to uh, add up to vertex. I don't have any other points. I will give you this. I will uh, teach you this next. And right below that, we have a two, three options. One is off here because of the some reasons. Um, the first one it shows you outer virtual sharp. You know, if I change this, you will see the differences on the screen. Another one is the inner virtual sharp. It gives you an idea how the lens you defined placed on your design. Consider that this one or this one. And another feature you need to uh, set is the flange positions. Do you want to design your flange inside or outside of the material? Or the bend inside or the outside? So. Considering by selecting each one, it has been changed. See, you will have different um, flange positions. So I will put it on this uh, material inside. And right below that, that, you have the two other options. The first one is the trim, which I don't want to talk about right now. Another thing is the offset. If you check offset, you will see that you can add a little bit flange on that. Uh, for example, again, you have other options for defining the length of that. I would just put it on the blind, and I want to increase my flange by two millimeters. See, two millimeters add to the base flange, and the edge flange start from that uh, length. Um, we have other options like a custom relief, which I will talk about that later. Let's click OK, and you will see the final design. 
Okay, we created our edge flange at one side of the edge. So in order to just have one, uh, you know, let me just, uh, if you want to, um, um, to edit your flange, you can just click on that and go to the edit features. Let me just put this as 90, the angle of the flange. Okay, let's create another flange at the other side. Uh, I want to create another flange at this side. I just go to the edge flange again and select my edge and stretch it to the height I would like to be. I just click here. Um, do you remember I said about the flange lens? Uh, we have another option which is going to be up to the vertex. I need to select the point to, uh, you know, the height of the flange is going to be equal to that. I just put it on the up to vertex and select this point. So the height of this flange is going to be equal to this. So, and we have another option here, which I want to introduce to you, um, edit flange profile. So by clicking on that, you will go to the sketch uh, environment and there is a box pops up here and it says this sketch is valid. So by, uh, uh, by dragging this edge, just by holding the um, left hand mouse button and you can change it. So I just put it here and you can put a dimension, for example, from here to here, I want to be 15 millimeters. And you can, you know, create the changes on the, um, you know, on the design. For example, I want to uh, have this cut out in the middle of my, let me just put it like this, and then I trim it. See, I will change my, um, you know, flange like this. And then you just press back, go back to the uh, sheet metal, uh, our edge flange property manager. You will see the, uh, the flange is like this. So another thing is which we talked at the beginning was about the, um, the, the, the band relief, which is really important. Here, um, under flange positions, we have trim side bands. If I check this, and you will have other options for the bent relief. For example, here, custom relief type, there are three different options, all-round, rectangular, tier. So the one I would like to have, it's the all-round, and uh, the dimension is gonna be uh, based on solid words, I just leave it as it is, and I just remove the, uh, the offset, and you will see here the, uh, the band relief created. So let's click OK and see the results. See, we have band relief here and it doesn't make any problem for our design. So another option I would like to talk about you um, is, the, is the gap between a created edge flange. For example, here I just create the edge flange as one side. I can create the edge flange at, it, uh, at the same time for different edges. So let's uh, click on edge flange. I want to have an edge flange on this edge, this edge, and this edge. So let's select this one. I'll uh, just stretch it and put it here. This one and this one I want to have. See, you can have edge flange and the bend relief will be created here we can see that, the results. So another option which is going to be on here is the gap. The gap represents the gap between these two edge flanges. So if I put it on two mil, just, uh, I'll just click on here and see the results. See, the gap between these two is gonna be bigger. I'll just put it as 0.5. I don't want to have much gap. And uh, the rest of our modules I just talked about and click OK. See, this is the results we will see and the relief created here automatically because we put this, uh, we, uh, we checked, um, you know, trim. If I haven't checked trim, side bands, see what happens. See, 
this is not correct. We need to get rid of this uh, part because when it's going to bend it, uh, as I said, the squeeze part needs to go somewhere. So this somewhere make uh, fractions, tear, and lots of defects. To avoid that, we need to have a cutout. So this cutout is created just by uh, uh, checking this box. You uh, you will find you will get the right design. So this is uh, all about the edge flange. Uh, you need to understand and create a lots of features for yourself and um, just repeat these uh, features I set uh, for today and um, to learn it more. So let's conclude our lesson with this um, nice edge flange lesson tutorial. And I will come back to you with other uh, tutorials regarding other features in sheet metal bending. Please subscribe us and like us and send our tutorial to your friends if they are interested in sheet metal bending and solid works. Thank you so much.